large city and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. William Conrad, the story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, the United States Marshal, the first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. Everything sure is closed up tight, Mr. Dillon. Don't look like nobody's here at all. Uh, somebody better be here. We'll leave the horses here at the side, huh? All right, sir. It don't seem likely that Will Hunter would just be sitting out here when he's supposed to be in court. Well, he's got to be someplace, Chester. This is as good a place as any to start. Hello. Anybody home? Open up. It's Matt Dillon. I want to talk to you. Sure don't seem like nobody's here. I'm not so sure. Open the door, or I'll break it in. You ain't got no business with me. Uh, are, are you Ms. Hunter? Will Hunter married me. Uh, where is he, ma'am? He ain't here. Well, I better talk to you. Uh, can we come in? I told you. You ain't got no business with me. Look, it's very important that we find your husband, Miss Hunter. It ain't important to me. Well, it should be. He was supposed to testify today against the man who stole your horses. I don't know nothing about it. Well, you know Mort Seeley? I ain't got nothing to say, Marshal. Look here, Miss Hunter. I arrested Seeley on charges made by your husband. Now, I kept him in jail waiting for the circuit judge, and he came today, and I sent word out here to Hunter, but he didn't show up. Now, if he doesn't show up tomorrow, the judge will have to tell me to turn Seeley loose. Now, is that what you want? What I want ain't in it. You won't answer my questions, then, huh? I told you, Marshal. Will ain't here. That's all I know to tell you. All right, Miss Hunter. I just hope you won't be sorry. I'm used to being sorry. Come on, Chester. What'd she mean by that? I don't know. She's not likely to tell us either. Well, what about Will? It looks like he changed his mind. Or somebody changed it for him. Well, Chester, did you find Will Hunter? No, sir, Judge, I didn't. Well, I told you. Ain't no case against me. Now, just a minute, Seely. Did you look the town over good, Chester? Yes, sir, Mr. Jones, I sure did. I was in and out of every eating place and saloon in town. He ain't been seen, that's all there are to it. Uh, did you check the hotel? Yes, sir. Delivery stable? Yes, sir, and Moss Grimmick ain't saw him neither. Huh? I'm sorry, Marshal. I can't delay things any longer. Now, wait a minute, Judge. You're going to let him go? There's nothing else for me to do. Well, of course there ain't. I know it all the time. Turn me loose, Dylan. Hold on, Seeley. 
Look, Judge, this man's guilty. You can't prove that much. But, Judge, there was a witness. Well, maybe there was, but under the law, he's not guilty if the witness doesn't testify. I'm sorry, Marshal. <laughs> well, I ain't sorry. <laughs> Come on, Wes. Let's get out of here. Judge, please. I have to dismiss the case, Marshal, on the basis of lack of evidence. <laughs> You'll have to let him go. You tell him all about it, Jim. So <laughs> long. I swear, I sure do hate to see him just walk out of here, Mr. Dillon. Yeah, Chester. Otherwise, the law tries to protect everybody equally, Marshal. I know that, Judge. But sometimes people are scared to take advantage of it. All right, Chester, let's go. You know, Mr. Dillon, I got me an idea that it's just as well as not if a body don't know too much. Oh, how's that? Well, now, if the judge hadn't known so much out of them law books, they wouldn't have been no trouble at all. How do you figure? Well, we all know Seely was guilty, didn't we? Yeah, he's guilty. All right, then. I believe knowing all that legal business just got in the judge's way. You know something, Chester? For once, I'd like to agree with you. Uh, Mr. Dillon? All right. Sitting in the courtroom that way sure does make a man hungry, don't it? <laughs> All right, Chester. You go on. Go on, get your dinner. Why well, ain't you coming? No, not yet. I got some work to do in here. I'll, I'll see you later. Go on. All right, Mr. Dillon, I will just go. Well, come on in, Dillon. It's your office. What are you doing here, Seely? <laughs> that ain't a very friendly question, Dillon. You've been right anxious to keep me here up till now. What do you want? Tell him where. Me and brother Mort come to pick up his gun. Mm -hmm. You riding out of town, silly? Why, what's that got to do with it? You don't get your gun until you do. The marshal sure ain't real polite about it, is he, Wes? You fix it, mm -hmm. Mort. Well, ain't nothing to it, Wes. Marshal just heard that judge tell him to let loose of me, and he knows he can't do nothing about it. <laughs> Don't you, Dylan? I can keep your gun as long as you're in Dodge. Sure sounds like that Marshal don't trust me, don't it, Wes? <laughs> you can't do nothing about it. <laughs> don't count on it. Well, you heard the judge... Let me tell you help. something, Sealy. I know you're guilty, and you know I know it, and there's somebody else who knows it. And who is that? Will Mark? Hunter. Well, I ain't worried about him. I'm going to tell you something else. I think you fixed it so Hunter couldn't show up today. You'll have plenty to worry about if he ever does. Dylan, you forgot something. I don't think you so. You forgot a man can't be tried twice for the same crime. I'm not worried about that, Sibby. If I ever find Will Hunter, there'll be a brand new crime to try you for. Back up, it's not your fault. I'm beginning to agree with Chester. Hmm? How's that? He thinks too much law just gets in the way. Well, Chester makes a point sometimes. Yeah, I guess he does. 
There's no use worrying about it now. Hey, you know what? What? There's going to be dancing tonight. Oh, is that so? Yeah, that's so. I thought you might like to come. A little good, honest, hard work like dancing with me might take your mind off your troubles. Oh, thanks, Kitty, but uh, <laughs> I'm not much of a dancing man. Oh, I... Oh, oh, hold it! Uh, is the marshal in here? Oh, there's He's Doc. Over there with Kitty. Over here, Doc. I wonder what he's so excited about. I couldn't see in this dark place. I was coming out of the light, you know. Well, sit down, Doc. Oh, well, I shouldn't, Kitty, but... Uh, Matt. Yeah, Doc. Haven't you been looking for Will Hunter? Yeah, I sure have. Why, have you heard something? I found him. Well, where is he? Well, Matt, you know that spot out west of town? Uh, where I like to go fishing when I get a chance. Is Hunter there? Uh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm trying to tell you. Well, go on. Well, I had a call to make out the range place. And I just stopped off to see if that big channel catfish was still running things in that pool. Doc, <laughs> yeah, you're spreading this story out like a woman. All right, but that's the way it happened. The way what happened, Doc? The way I found Will Hunter. I heard him moaning in the bushes, Matt, and, and there he was. And he was hurt bad, awfully bad. Was he shot? He might as well have been. He'd taken as bad a beating as a man ever took. And he was left there for dead. And he just about was. Well, what did you do with him? Well, I got him into the buggy, and I took him home. Oh, Mrs. Hunter took on something terrible when I brought him in. Well, she hadn't heard anything from him for three days. Yeah. Is he going to make it, Doc? I don't know, Matt. I did everything I could. Uh, I'll be looking in on him tomorrow, and I'll try to find out something for you. Thanks, Doc, but I think I better try to find out for myself right now. I declare, Mr. Dillon, I sure do hope that woman's gladder to see us this time than she was the last time we was out here. I don't expect she will be. Doc said she was mighty upset. Well, no, Mr. Dillon, it just could be that she'd be glad to see us showing an interest in Will and all. We stopping here? Yeah. We'll go up to the house on foot. She sure ain't no friendlier, is she? No, not exactly. Miss Hunter! She's standing there on the porch, Mr. Dillon. She's got a big old squirrel gun. She aims to kill us. Yeah. Miss Hunter! It's the marshal. I want to talk to you. I'm coming in. We've come to help you, to help Will now. Will you put the gun down? Will don't get no help. He just gets hurt. Ain't nobody else coming near him. I'm coming in, Miss Hunter. Will wants to see me. Why don't you leave us be? Put the gun down. Why don't you leave us be? <laughs> Give me the gun, Miss Hunter. Chester. It's all right now, Miss Hunter. It's all right. Miss Dillon? Help her over to that chair and get her some water. I'm going to go see Will. Yes, sir. Now, don't you worry now, ma'am. Mr. Dillon. 
He's dead. Will don't get no help. He just gets hurt. He just gets dead. Oh, that's terrible. Miss Hunter, do you know who did this to your husband? Oh, it don't make no difference no more. Yes, it does. Celie's brother, Wes, was out here, wasn't he? Going after him won't bring Will back. No, Miss Hunter, it won't, but... If I know Will Hunter, it'll make him rest easier. It ain't no use. It's over. I'm done. Now, you listen to me. Will was no coward. If he'd had the chance, he'd have spoken up. And I know he'd have wanted you to do the same thing. No, he... He didn't hold with cowards. All right, then tell me, Miss Hunter. Was Mort Seeley's brother out here while I was holding Mort in jail? He come three days ago. He told Will he'd take him where the horses was. The one Seeley had stole. And Will rode off with him. And he didn't ride back. Dr. Adams brought him back. To die. Chester. Yes, sir. I want you to do exactly what I tell you. All right, sir. I want you to go to Dodge. And, and leave you here? I want you to go to every place you can think of. To Delmonico's, the hotel, the livery stable. The Long Branch? And the Long Branch. And I want you to do a lot of talking. Well, now, Mr. Dillon, I don't understand just what you're getting at. I want you to tell everybody you see that Will Hunter is doing fine. Just fine. But, Mr. Dillon... You just do what I say, Chester. Tell the story all over town. Yeah, but now, if them Seeley brothers hear about this, they'll head right out. That's what I'm counting on. Well, now, I ain't going off and leave you alone again, a pat hand like that. Get going, Chester. It just... Chester! Yes, sir, Mr. Dillon? It's good of you to do the burying, Marshal Dillon. That's all right, ma'am. I have to thank you for that. You could have waited in the house, Miss Hunter. It's my place to be here. That digs hard, don't it? Yeah, the prairie gets baked hard. And hard ground. Hard living. Hard dying. Yes, ma'am, I know. Nine years... Nine years Will spent scraping the place out of this hard ground, denying himself, me too. No, it hasn't been easy. Nine years flying in the sun, fighting to keep from being washed away when it stormed, being bone tired, not seeing folks, and me dying up alongside him. Miss Hunter. We got to get the place going, Harry. See? <laughs> now he ain't going no place else. <laughs> ain't that funny, Marshal? No, ma'am. He got the place started. And now it's finished. <laughs> Why, sure, that's funny, Marshal. That's a real joke. Miss Hunter, uh, look, why, why don't you go away for a while? Well, just, where do you figure I'd go, Marshal? Uh, I don't know, a, a relative maybe, or, well, it just seems to me that it'd do you good to leave. Marshal, I hate this place with a mortal hate. I ain't never done nothing else but hate it. But Will Hunter scraped it out for me. With his bare hands, it seemed like. And he lies here. I ain't never gonna leave. 
There might be more shooting. Oh, there'll always be more shooting. No, I mean here, Miss Hunter. When the Seeley brothers come. I'll be proud to wait for that, Marshal Dillon. Well, aren't you afraid? You could get hurt. There ain't nothing for me to be afraid of, Marshal. Not ever again. you, Mort, I hope I won't be making this right many I more times. I should have time. known you never could do nothing right the first time. I done just like you told me, Mort. Come and I got him, and then I rode out with him, and I left him and in a One ditch. thing you did not do. How's that? You didn't kill him. Now, Mort, I don't understand that. I just rightly don't. He ain't got no call to be living, not after what I done. Well, well, I just want to tell you one thing, Brother West. Don't you make no mistake this time. Else you won't have no call to be living neither. Sure, Mort. There won't be nothing to it. Just see to it that there ain't. Mort, what about the woman? Well, she's a witness, ain't she? Sure, but I, I don't want no witness living. Miss Hunter. Marshal? They're coming. They're riding in the gate right now. I'm ready. Now, I want you to stay quiet. And out of sight. I ain't afraid. I want them to make the first move. You understand that? I understand all about it. All right. I'm waiting till they come up on the porch. You just stay quiet. I'm going back to the window.
produced and directed in Hollywood by Norman MacDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. The story was specially written for Gunsmoke by Marion Clark, with editorial supervision by John Mester. Featured in the cast were Jeanette Nolan, Lawrence Dobkin, Vic Perrin, and Frank Cady. Harley Bear is Chester, Howard McNear is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. This is George Walsh inviting you to join us again next week when CBS Radio presents another story on Gunsmoke. This is the CBS Radio Network.